This is Becky Legiro. Today I'm with George Rover. He's the Deputy Director of the Division of Gaming Enforcement in New Jersey. We're here at GigZ 2014 and I'm going to speak with George about what's happening in New Jersey from an online gambling regulation perspective. So first of all, let's talk about the, the state of online gambling within New Jersey right now and how it has progressed over the past six to you know, 12 months. Uh, we've been very pleased from the regulatory standpoint. Um, I know some people feel that the number, the revenue numbers are below expectations, uh, but from the Division of Gaming Enforcement standpoint, our concerns had to do with integrity issues, issues of geolocation, responsible gaming, and we feel that in, in cooperation with the operators, the casino licensees and the platform providers, the product is working excellent. And so we believe that the revenue numbers will follow, and it's just going to take a little bit of time. So from your perspective, what can some of these operators and suppliers do to help get those numbers up? Well, we've had a number of discussions with them, and, and some of the things that we're looking at is getting affiliates to market better and to bring on affiliates who are experts in marketing. We also feel that we're, the user interface is getting better with each of the, uh, each of the, the sites. And so they're, they're two of the main issues that we've heard about. Payment processing is always still an issue. We are working with uh, the Comptroller in Washington and the Department of Treasury in Washington. And again, we're trying to get better guidance to allow credit card companies to feel more comfortable taking bets for online wager. Lots of education. You, you could. Now, I know that you've sent some letters to the affiliates to, uh, to ask them to please stop promoting the uh, internationally licensed uh, websites that, that offer services to New Jersey. What else do you have planned to make sure that New Jersey citizens are staying on regulated sites in New Jersey? Well, I think, first of all, part of it is advertising, and I think the industry is going to indicate to a number of folks that at least if you're on a regulated site, you know you're going to get paid and you know the quality of the game and the integrity of the game is preserved. From an enforcement standpoint, uh, we have a number of things in the works. When we do write a letter like that and threaten potential sanctions, we mean it. And not only against the affiliates, but we'll also be looking at the unlicensed sites themselves. And I can just say, stay tuned, because we, we mean it. And uh, here at the conference, and just in general, everyone's talking about PokerStars and Amaya naturally. Um, and I know that you cannot comment on uh, too many details of Amaya's application in New Jersey, but what, what are you taking into consideration when it comes to providing Amaya potentially with a license? Well, there are a number of considerations. As you point out, it's under investigation. We never comment on pending investigations. Um, but there are a number of considerations. Uh, some of them are when you look at the Justice Department settlement with PokerStars, it specifically allowed Poker Stars to continue in the online gaming business using the Poker Stars in full tilt name. Uh, there's no reference there to tainted assets or quarantining any of their assets. Uh, we'd also add in New Jersey, when New Jersey passed a recent statute, they specifically did not include the tainted assets concept in, in the legislation. And we'd also point out that um, you know our, our, our online operators now have been up and running for eight or nine months. They've had quite a bit of head start. All of those factors uh, will go into a final determination as to whether or not the acquisition by Amaya or PokerStars meets our regulatory standards. George, is there anything else that you wanted to add today? I have nothing else to add. Thanks for your time. Thanks so much for joining me. This is Becky Legero with George Rover. Thanks for watching CalvinAir.com.